I really wish that we would get to a point in society where we acknowledge and accept that everyone is not meant to be a parent. This conversation today, it might trigger some folks, but I think it's a conversation that definitely needs to be had. Let's get into it. My mama listens, but she don't hear. Okay, give me an example. Please. I told her like, hey mom, I got violated and stuff like that mm -hmm. in so January. Sorry. So sorry. And she lit a cigarette and was like, okay. And then she didn't say nothing and I got up and I walked off. What was going through your mind at that moment? I was molested when I was younger. This is a triggering conversation for me. One thing I will not do is sit here and be ridiculed by my own child who knows I will go to the ends of the earth for you. You know it. Mama, no, I didn't listen. Say, no, you said, you I didn't, didn't say your piece. Now listen to me. And the reasons why I didn't say nothing, because you know this already. If you felt like you needed more help, I'm not the one to help you with it because I, I ain't done with my own healing. And you know this. This is not something I hear from you. So if you needed that healing, what you should have did was got yourself some doggone professional help or reached out to me and said, I need professional help. So how the hell am I supposed to help you if I can't help myself? Cut the clip. I really wish that we would get to a point in society where we acknowledge and accept that everyone is not meant to be a parent. I really hate the fact that we push this agenda where, especially with women, we say that you have to have a child. Something is wrong with you if you don't have a child by a certain age. If you say that you don't want to have children, you're seen as a selfish human being. Something must be internally wrong with you for not wanting to come on earth and do your duty, which is to keep the human race going to reproduce. The people who are out here having children, knowing good and well that they are not financially, mentally, emotionally ready for that responsibility and are doing no work to heal their inner traumas, they are the selfish ones. In this example, this mother is hearing that her child has been sexually assaulted. And her response is, well, I have traumas too. I experienced the same thing. I can't be here for you. I'm not healed myself. And my thought process is, well, why the hell you had a child then? Or even if you did have a child after you endured these traumas, because let's be real, everyone is human and things happen. Why did you not see that as a catalyst for you to go to therapy yourself? Be the highest version of yourself so that you can be a support to your daughter. She didn't ask to be here. I get so frustrated with parents who feel like they did their children in extreme favor just by birthing them. They didn't ask to be here. That was a conscious decision that that you made. Your job as a parent is to protect this child, to instill knowledge in this child, to instill values in this child so that they can go out into the world and be a wholesome human being who can hopefully impact the community in a positive way. That is a responsibility that you signed up for. So to put that pressure on your child and make them feel like they have to endure whatever toxic traits you have just because you opened your legs and brought them into this world, that is dead wrong. It lacks accountability. For those of you who watch my channel, you're familiar with my girl, Tara Chantel. My sis gets so much backlash for her viewpoints on being child free and how she chooses to live her life. Tara is very vocal in saying that she would be a horrible mother because she is very selfish. So that lifestyle isn't meant for her. And again, I commend her for being aware of that because so many people walk into parenthood not even knowing that about themselves. But the amount of people who still try to push motherhood on her or make her feel bad for that decision, even though she is saying, I would not be a good mother, I am not going to benefit this child, just shows that we don't think about the well being of children when we have these kinds conversations. I remember I made a video once talking about why I haven't had children yet. I am very intentional about healing things within myself because I want to break cycles of trauma that have been going on in my family. And I don't want to do that to a child that I brought into this world that I'm supposed to love, that I'm supposed to protect. I'm thinking about their well-being. So I wouldn't do that to them until I feel like I am in a space to be able to do so. Got a few comments on that video where people were saying I'm operating out of fear and you're never gonna be ready to be a parent. Yes, 
that might be a traumatic response. And I understand that you're never gonna be fully ready to be a parent until you kind of jump into it. But if a person is saying that I am not in a head space to do this, I still have things I need to heal within myself so that I can be the best version of myself to be a role model for my child. That is something that should be respected so that we don't continue the cycle and see things like this. Because while we commend people like that for bringing a child into the world and enduring hardships and still wanting to be selfless and give birth to a child, we have a negative outlook on the people who are saying, no, we've been doing that for a long time and I wanna be better. And I think we really need to question why we have that mentality. We should be focused on passing on generational wealth, but instead we're doing nothing but passing on generational trauma.